Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can configure Microsoft Windows 10 in your Raspberry Pi 4. This is actually a little bit different than what we did in the previous video, that is configuring Raspberry Pi OS. In the case of Raspberry Pi OS, what we did was, we downloaded Raspberry Pi Imager 2 and that tool downloaded Raspberry Pi OS image from the internet and wrote that to our micro SD card, right? That was a straightforward process. But in the case of Microsoft Windows, an image that can be directly written to the micro SD card of Raspberry Pi is not officially available. So, what we are going to do is, we will be downloading a software that will generate Microsoft Windows 10 image for your Raspberry Pi in our computer and we will use another tool that will write this image to the micro SD card of our Raspberry Pi. I know it sounds a little bit confusing but don't worry guys, I will be showing you the easiest way you can do this right now. My name is Chidin and I am super excited to teach you everything you need to know about robotics, home automation and other fun DIY projects using Arduino and Raspberry Pi. If you are a true fan of all these things, make sure you check out our channel. You are gonna love it there. If you don't want to miss our future videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button right here. So, let's get started. The first thing we are gonna do is, we will be connecting this micro SD card to this micro SD card reader and we will be connecting this to our computer. Open up a browser and search for WR project. WR stands for Windows on Raspberry Pi. Now, clicking on this downloads link will take you to their official website and from here, you should be able to download the latest version of Windows on Raspberry Pi Major. That's the first tool we need. Okay, now it will start downloading. And the next thing we need is the tool that will generate Windows 10 image for Raspberry Pi. So, below that, you should be able to see getting Windows images. Below that, you should see two links under ARM64. Simply click on UUP Dump and it will take you to another website. And on top, you should be able to see latest public release build and you have to click on ARM64 under Architecture. And here, select Feature Update to Windows 10. And in the next page, you should be able to select the language. Select the language you want and hit Next. And in this page, you should be able to select which edition you want. For the sake of this video, I will be going with Windows 10 Home. After that, click on Next and in the next page, you should select the second option that is Download and Convert to ISO. Once you have done that, you can check the summary and after that, simply click on Create Download Package and that will start the download process. Once it is finished, go to the Downloads folder, copy that file and then paste it to another location. One thing you should keep in mind is that the name of the folder in which you are copying the file should not have any spaces. So I am just naming it Windows 4 Pi without space and paste it here and extract all the files. Once extracted, you should be able to see a file name uup underscore download underscore windows dot cmd. Simply right click on that and click on run as administrator and that will start the process. Now, this tool will generate a Windows 10 image in ISO format which can then be written to the micro SD card of your Raspberry Pi. It's a very long process guys, so you can go out and come back later. This process took around 1 hour for me and once it is finished, you should be able to see a message like this. Now, you can press 0 key to exit this window and if you take a deeper look into this folder, you should be able to see an ISO file. This is the image of Windows 10 for your Raspberry Pi which can now be written onto the micro SD card. Our job is almost done. Now, I am going back to downloads, copy the images software and coming back to this folder, I will create another folder named Major, paste it here and simply extract the file. And here you should be able to see wor.txe. Now, simply open the file and here you should be able to select the language. Once you have done that, click on next and here you should be able to select the micro SD card. And here is my 16 GB micro SD card. And below that, you should be able to select the device type. Now I am going with Raspberry Pi 4. Click next and here you should select the image that we generated earlier. Select that and click on open. Now that's done and make sure the Windows edition is correct and click on next. And here select use the latest package available on the server. Click on accept and click next. And here also Select use the latest firmware available on the server and click next. And here are some additional configuration. If you want you can add or remove some parameters in the boot options. Now I will be leaving it as such and click next. And here is a complete overview of the configuration. If you want to change anything you can simply click on back and if you are ok with it simply click on install. Now 
This will write Windows 10 OS on the micro SD card of your Raspberry Pi. It's going to take a while for me, it took around half an hour. Once it's done, you can simply remove the micro SD card from the computer and insert it into the micro SD card slot of the Raspberry Pi. Okay, now it's done. Now all you have to do is connect all the remaining hardware. All I have is a wireless keyboard, mouse and a monitor. And finally, we will connect the power adapter to the Raspberry Pi and switch on the Pi and monitor. And that's it. You should see the logo here. And here it is. If you are booting it for the first time, it's gonna take a lot of time. During the first boot, it will walk you through initial setup process. It's very easy. You can provide whatever you want. You can create an account, set up a password and set up security questions and things like that. And then you can answer all the privacy related questions. And you're almost there. And here we are in Windows 10 home screen. If you take a closer look, you can see that this version of Windows is still under test mode. Now let's go to start menu. And here you can see all the apps. That wasn't hard, right? But the problem is, you can never replace a laptop or desktop running Windows 10 with this Raspberry Pi running Windows 10. Because the Windows 10 running in this Raspberry Pi is not yet completely functional. So, most of the softwares that works on laptop and desktop will not work on Raspberry Pi. That's it for this video guys. If you find this video useful, consider supporting my channel by giving this video a like and subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button right here. In the next video, I'll be showing you how you can download and set up Windows 11 in your Raspberry Pi 4. See you in the next video.